I started working in St Kilda in 2002 as the archaeologist. So the work on the island was very much to do with the, the built heritage, the cultural heritage. It is amazing. It's unlike anywhere certainly I've ever seen it in the UK. Bits for almost like the lost world. And it's always changing. There's always new aspects to see. Um, don't go there if you suffer from vertigo. I, I think I can remember saying, I'm not sure if I can do this job. You know, that walking close to a cliff edge, uh, within a few weeks you're quite nonchalantly doing that. Really on, on St Kilda and I suppose anywhere, you can't split natural and cultural. We have one of these quite unique sites. There's not many in the world that have got that mixed world heritage status, both, both natural and cultural. When we are doing any repair work, that's nearly always concentrated within the village area, and that requires statutory consents. So we work very closely with colleagues in Historic Environment Scotland to ensure that we can do the works to a high standard. And I think we've set the bar quite rightly, we set it that high, because I think it's, it's important that we do that. You know, today I, I think it's, it's hopefully it's fun. I hope it's, it's raising awareness of all the World Heritage Sites in Scotland. We're celebrating 30 years since St Kilda was made a natural World Heritage Site. Then we're focusing on those natural aspects today. There are some beautiful pictures that they can colour in of the seabird species that we have, the seals. Um, their parents can come along and learn a little bit more in depth about what makes St Kilda special. I'm Susan Bain, I work for the National Trust for Scotland and I manage the Western Isles.